this week's episode, we'll review the evolution of my Mega LED and how it became small enough to fit entirely on the front triangle of my full suspension mountain bike. In episode 33, I built a massively overpowered lamp to use for night biking. It used stuff I had lying around, and though it worked for my immediate needs, it was ridiculously impractical. It used a car battery and a bike trailer that wasn't meant for trail riding, but I did get a good use out of this setup. My second build used a 12 volt wheelchair battery I bought for $60 and the smallest 12 volt inverter I could find. At 12 amp hours, it weighs about 9.5 pounds and provides 8 hours of light. I didn't have any way to strap it to my frame, and I really didn't want to use the trailer, so I used a backpack with the cable hanging out. In hindsight, that was a bad idea because I overlooked a problem with the cord. I had been intending on doing a comparison between an Amazon mountain bike light and my custom one, and sometimes greatness is thrust upon us. But I've got to say, even with all the problems, I'm not sure I'll enjoy any other light from now on. Uh. <sighs> Uh-oh. Oh, this is a lot more sketchy. I found a carrier rack that's only held up by the seat post. With some tie-downs and re-soldering the power cord, I was back in business. This works well for a hardtail, but not a full suspension where the wheel might come into contact with the rack. Not to mention a dropper post would probably be destroyed by this much force. But the setup has its advantages. Notably, you can walk away from the bike and not disconnect the power. No tangling cords, and you can turn the bike around easily in tight spots. Without the trailer, it's not noisy or even noticeable at all. Since the power switch is accessible, I can turn the light off when I get to the road. One of my subscribers, Justin Ramsey, told me about the Vagabond Mini, a portable inverter used by photographers that is compact enough to strap onto the front triangle. I really want to ride my full suspension with the lamp this summer, so I picked one up to test it out. Then all I had to do was wait for nightfall. I used some 3M grippy tape and a nylon cargo strap to hold it on. It might wiggle a bit, but only when smacking it around. Otherwise, it's a solid, if not convenient, solution. The Vagabond Mini combines the battery and inverter into a single 4.5 pound unit, shaving 10 off the weight. It has a built-in battery level indicator that's essential for long rides. Since the power switch is in front of me, it's even easier to turn off while riding. Did I mention how quiet it is without the trailer? It's super expensive though, and it balloons the price of the light to approximately that of a Sigma. You might ask me, why do this and not get a Sigma? And I ask, why not? This is brighter. Oh, can't believe I just made it up through all that ice. These tires actually really do work.
I'm always working on videos like this, and you can help me out by supporting me on Patreon and subscribing here on YouTube. Until next time, you know what to do. Go ride.